sidewalk of what happened on senior day, and then they show up in New Orleans the way that they did and kind of do a makeshift from the hotel to the bus. I mean, what was that like from a player's standpoint to see that happen? When we got on that bus coming out of the hotel, it was like, I mean, I couldn't even see the streets. It was, it was crazy. Like, I, I, I felt like I was a part of something just that, at, at that moment because it felt so good to have, like, people calling our names, go cars, chanting the cars, chanting, being able to walk through that. It's like, you know, it's like walking through heaven, to be honest. It's like, I mean, I, like, I, like, again, I had chills. Every time I see the fans out there, I get chills. Does that game make it easier to get back in the facilities and work in the offseason to get ready for this year, thinking about how well you guys played and how successful you were on that night? Um, that game makes us think a lot. It makes me think a lot. I mean, we, we played at a, at a at a temple that we never played in throughout the whole season. Um, people say that we played better in, in the, uh, on the Sugar Bowl than we played in any season. I mean, that game makes us want to work harder. It makes us want to be more than what we were last year. And we're really going for everything this year. Does it raise expectations of yourself, though, that a Syracuse, a UConn, games like that can't happen when you know that you can play at that level on any given night? Um, being complacent is not what I want to be because, you know, those type of games, every time we every time we think about even think about being complacent, I go back to Syracuse and UConn because I know that this league is not, it's not easy. It's not going to be easy. And it's not going to be handed to us single-handedly. What about you personally? How do you feel coming off of last year and some of the injuries and things like that? Um, I know football isn't forever, so, you know, I, I play like tomorrow's my last day. You know, uh, I plan to get better at everything I do, and that's the only thing I can do is get better. What's been the biggest adjustment for you as, as a guy learning the game and, you know, being here as well for the last couple of years? Um, studying football. Um, you know, coming in a, coming into college, I didn't too much understand football. You know, I just play. I just play because you know it was a fun sport. But now I understand the the logic of football. And you know, right now things I need to improve on is my, my are my feet, my hands, um, being able to understand the the uh, the process of the offense and be able to stop the run. Right now I'm gaining weight to stop the run. I've gained at least 10 pounds since last year. So uh, I believe that should help me a lot. Being able to sit in the bucket, being able to uh, feel gas without being moved. You want to be more than just a pass rushing specialist? Right, exactly. Um, pass rushing is all good and well, but on first and second down, you know, pass rushing isn't working. You know, I need to be able to stop the run as well on the edge and keep the edge um, if the ball is to be bounced outside. Coach Bedford also talked about you personally in, the, in his interviews and said that you're a high energy guy that's just now learning to play the game, really, as you were talking about, kind of studying it. Have you always been that guy that's the high energy that just the motor keeps going? Uh, yeah, um, a lot of the guys talk to me in the mornings, you know, I'm all high energy jumping around. It was like, uh, Lozo, where do you get all your energy from? Where you get? It's like, I just love the game, man, and now it's time to work. I mean, y'all should be happy just as I am because, I mean, I have a high level of stamina. I love, I love running. I love doing all the, the extra stuff. I mean, if I'm, if I'm caught up in a, in a block, I have to keep moving. Like, I can't stay blocked. I don't want to be blocked. And I have to make plays. So, I'm basically, I, I, sometimes I hashtag it or I do it for my team. I like hashtagging that because I really love doing it for my team. I love doing it for my brothers. Is it now you're understanding how to harness that energy and actually have a direction of what you're supposed to be doing as Bedford was talking about? Yes, I do. Um, when I know I'm supposed to do something, I know I'm supposed to make that play. I have I have that energy and I, I you know, conjure it all up basically to say, you know, it's my turn and I need to make this play. Are you a morning guy? It seems like you might be a morning guy. That's I mean, I, I Maybe say annoying it. to the teammates. Maybe <laughs> I'm a, a, a every-hour-of-the-day guy. I mean, because either way it goes, I mean, even when I'm supposed to be dead tired after practice, I'm still high energy. I don't know what it is. It's just I like being, I like being young. Do you like the aspect of what Coach Bedford was talking about, being more aggressive and attacking style defense this year than maybe playing it safe a year ago? Yes, yes. Um, being aggressive is what we're all about this year because uh, last year, you know, we had we had flashes of that, and we need to have every game full of aggressiveness. Every game. No problem. What's uh, Coach Harris' presence going to feel like for you 